lot of difference uh, setting traps today. <laughs> Turned off colder and got a bit of snow. Worse you now the, the trees are loaded. Every now and then it gets a little bit down the back of the neck, you know. That makes you straighten up a bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, in one shot right there. And keep moving on, I guess. First one up. Oh, geez. That's the first one I had knocked off the tree so far the year. From a black bear, I guess. Well, there's another one set. And uh, when I cleaned my privileges after I got home the other day, I kept the guts in it. And uh, I'm using that for bait as well. And uh, Peter uh, asked me, you know, why do I... Uh, seems like most of the times I make soup out of partridges but uh, we do have partridge soup quite often but but we bake them quite often as well and but sometimes not very often we'll fry one and once in a while we put one in a bottle but uh, I don't bottle up much partridge I find uh, uh, the meat more drier in a bottle seem like uh, I'd rather like bottle rabbit or anything like that so uh, yeah uh, I guess I mentioned soup a lot but we bake them probably just as often as well and uh, and like I said, uh, occasionally we'll fry them or something like that, but not too often. But uh, yeah, that's another one set. And uh, I just rub some of that old guts net on the tree there and just using up everything, throw the fuel feathers over that way. So using everything up. Pitched over that way. Now we got two more in here. I don't know if I hit me hard, I think. And I mix the four. And a couple more went on over that way. I got those four picked off, so I'm gonna go see can I track down the other one there now. Tree. A bit older sign here. I seen three more, uh, but they were wild and uh, they fly down up to the side of the hill there. Uh, uh, tonight is bonfire night and instead of using some of the wood that I already got I figured I'd come out, have a little hunt and cut some firewood and uh, also uh, keeping the feathers there for some uh, trap sets as well. Not much snow down so it's a good time now to get uh, some of these old stumps that's left behind here. Yeah. Today is uh, November the 10th, uh, we're checking a few traps, uh, it's pretty mild, well I guess at least it ain't raining, <laughs> and right here, 
is the second uh, trap I checked for the day and I got my first Merton. Just look at that. This was a feather sit. You see some of the feathers down there. And just look at that. Woohoo! Good start, good start to the day. Let's see what the rest of the day brings. First one of the year, look at that. Well, look what we got here. Bait still there. So that's fantastic. Uh, I think it's only the fifth trap so far, so, or the sixth trap. So we got a couple already. Seems to be pretty good. Well, it's good to get a catch on that old pervert. I wasn't really sure how that was going to work out. And now, uh, today also I got some uh, moose hide here. Uh, for Master Jim, my old buddy Jim gave me a bit of moose, and then around the leg part there was a bit of hide left on it, so I skinned it off and uh, cut up little pieces, and I'm going to rub a bit of green beaver lure on this and use that in places as well. And before I go, I got some uh, feathers here from... That's feathers from uh, in purposes that I got there uh, the other day. Well, just look at that. That's another big land butte right there. Uh, you know, the day is young. That trick already, so off to a good start. Uh, just have to wait and see if it continues, but yeah, been the best start for a while. Super. Yes, sir, just look at that. Beautiful, Martin. Beautiful. See yeah, on the winter side to trap this time. <laughs> There we go. Well guys, uh, the other day I seen a nice bit of Merton sign here. He was back and forth to the box there two or three different times. Uh, and down that way. And sure enough, I got a Merton here. <laughs> yeah, so this is the fourth one for the day. And uh, the second one now out of the, out of the last tree trap. So, uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, look at that. Nice color, nice and dark. Yeah, fourth one so far, so let's hope there's some more. Okay. <laughs> Head gone right off him. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wait one this time. No Merton here, but hopefully, uh, if one comes by, you know, sees these feathers, he'll uh, stay around and hunt around and investigate a little more and. Better chance, you know, the more time he spins around his set area, I guess the better chance you're going to have of catching him. Well, you know, I was doing pretty good, but they kind of scarced off a bit. But uh, in this place right here, you know, I had this trap here for, oh my gosh, I don't know how many years, and I never ever got a Merton here, and... Uh, I was thinking about moving the box. Uh, I said, I'll have one more check here. And I said, there's nothing here. Next time, we'll take the box and put it in another location. And when I looked, I got a Merton right there. He's the, he's the lowest Merton that I got today, but that's all right. All taken. <laughs> Looks like I got number six here. So picking up again. They are. Yes, sir. Look at that. Another big land boot right there. Another big lamb butte. Lovely, lovely Merton. Look at that. And that's a six pack. Everything looks good up there.
Well, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. What a beautiful Merton. Just look at that. Not quite as big as the other ones, but he's nice and dark. Uh, you know, and that's the third Merton now out of the last four traps. So, so I'm into another bunch. Man, let's hope this trend continues. Well, look at that. That's number eight. I must say, this old day is getting better and better. I still got another little few to get through, so fingers crossed. There's more. Yes, sir. Look at that. What a beautiful night. Well, I tell you, it's a it's a warm day. And it looks like I got number nine right here. Uh, yeah, this is a feather set here as well. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, one more for double digits. That would be super. I don't have a whole lot of traps left to check right now. but uh, And there's not a lot of time on some of these traps either. But uh, I got to get through them all because where it's uh, a bit on the warm side. Look at that. Number nine. He's a nice big one too. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I must say, you know, this is a, a fantastic day so far. Uh, I kind of like to get at least one more, so I'm getting double digits. Just, just look at that. That right there is number 10. Double digits. Look at that. Oh, the big old Merton. Now that is a, that's a Labrador Butte right there. Beautiful, beautiful Merton. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a beautiful Merton. Well, guys, I got a rough grouse. Uh, the first one I got the year, I tell you, he uh, feels heavy, you know, compared to the cartridges and parmigan. Well, just look at this. I ended up with 10 Merton all together. A uh, fantastic day in the trap line. And I uh, got a few cartridges to go along with it, so that's good. But I guess that's it for this one though, guys. Uh, the video's getting kind of long now, so I, I guess that's a bit for this one. Uh, would appreciate y'all watching, and uh, hope to see you all on the next one. Take care, and all the best from the big land. Good boy.